Hello, welcome back to Eliminate. We are here, Confusion Matrix Part. So in Part 1, we covered about Confusion Matrix and said it deals with classification problem. Yes or no, true or false, these kind of classification problems are dealt or the performance of these classification models are understood using Confusion Matrix. In this part, we'll be going into two use cases. One will be a disease detection we'll take something specific like cancer detection and second we all know spam emails right spam mails so spam detection so these will be our two use cases to understand confusion matrix in a much better way so as to decide which parameter to go for like precision or recall which one becomes important? There are certain conditions or cases wherein we go for F1 score, balancing, precision and recall, where both are important. We cannot clearly define its precision which weighs more than recall. So this, if you understand this precision and recall, when these are important, then the other parts actually become easy. So now we are very clear of what is confusion matrix and what is true positive, what is true negative, what are the equations and how it comes as precision, recall, or sensitivity, specificity, accuracy, F1 score, all of this. Now let's move to the first use case that is cancer detection. So our case is scenario cases. So this is the use case. So as we understood in the last session or last part, Cancer, this part of it, this is what we are detecting. So this is a positive label for us. Detecting cancer is something positive for the model or the algorithm or the machine learning or equation or whatever we have designed, whatever test we have designed, if that test detects cancer, that means it is positive for us, right? That is a positive label. Now let's draw the basic and then deep dive into the importance of for this particular use so here we have the two by two matrix now that we can write in any axis you are clear with the axis i will just write two things here one let this be the predicted predicted okay and let this be the actual so the actual is say we took 100 patients we cannot say patients actually 100 candidates uh, for whom we are checking whether the particular candidate is suffering from cancer or not. So 100 numbers, right? So out of the 100, we actually know who actually has cancer, who doesn't. So we know the positive, that is cancer, and we know the negative as well. So this is our vertical axis, right? Now let's move to the horizontal axis. Here we is the predicted, we predict or our test predicts that the candidate has cancer, the candidate doesn't have. So these are all the cases, okay. Now the first thing that we have to do is, based on the prediction, we put the right hand side or the label right on this direction. Now based on the actual scenario, actual, actual the candidate has cancer and we have also predicted to have cancer. So true correct actually the candidate has cancer true but we didn't say that it has cancer we said negative so we are wrong incorrect false similarly here it is that the actual case is the candidate is not having cancer but we said it has cancer false positive false similarly we have it actually says there is no cancer and we also said it's no cancer so this is true negative so these are all the four possible combinations in this particular classification problem right now take some time think which parameter is it false negative that is important or is it false positive that is important. so what is false positive and what is false negative and why did i ask that question so we did go about saying precision and recall so what were the formulas that were available it was both on the top true positive divided by divided by true positive again, true positive again. The only difference here is the precision we take false positive, 
and in the recall we take false negative so this is why i said whether precision is important or recall is important so what is uh, false positive here we predicted the green side of it we predicted p right we predicted to have cancer but it's wrong we predicted to have cancer but it's wrong similar here we predicted to not have cancer but it actually has actually has cancer so these are the two cases false negative and false positive now read this take some time and and try and think which one becomes important whether a candidate who's actually having cancer and we said it's not having cancer not having cancer we are saying this parameter becomes important or when the patient when the candidate sorry again when the candidate is not actually having cancer and we are saying he has cancer becomes important from the perspective of the test or identification of cancerous disease cancer as a disease so the answer here is false negative or recall becomes super important for this kind of a problem so again just to reiterate if a candidate comes in if a candidate is actually suffering from cancer the model or the test has to identify and say that this particular individual is suffering from cancer and has to be given medication or treatment otherwise there are good amount of chances that the cancer stage will get heightened and the prevention or the measures that taken by medication or treatment would not take in any chance of curing the disease right so false negative is super important in this case if for example we say a particular candidate or individual has cancer but he or she doesn't actually have cancer this particular case false positive this is not much problematic in this scenario why as a first round of test cancer may be detected okay as a follow up or next stage of test this is again continue or further tests or references are being taken from for the particular candidate and at the end it would always come or it is most probable that this candidate who has been first said that has cancer would again disqualify to have cancer will not be treated for cancer but every other candidate who is actually suffering from cancer should be identified correctly the higher we identify that correctly we are in a better position so our recall should be very high so false negative becomes super important for this kind of a classification problem hope this is very clear just rewind and rewatch some time so that it becomes crystal clear from that problem perspective and solution perspective you can just give some random numbers over here always add up to 100 for example say you have identified say given 50 here okay you have identified 50 true positive cases okay and then um, and say 40 true negative cases so 50 plus 40 it's 90 and and remaining 5 over here and 5 over here it's very equal or something i've just put a random number so you can calculate the recall so it's nothing but 50 divided by 50 plus 5 so whatever this number comes to this is your recall as a accuracy if you want to measure 50 plus 40 that's 90 divided by total your 100 so it's 90% 90% is your model accuracy So this is how everything is calculated based on this particular classification problem. This number would not be hundred; it would be in millions or something in some real use cases. Nevertheless, this is how methodology that is being used, and this is how we have to frame and understand. This is why this is important for us from business standpoint, or from problem perspective, from. patient or customers perspective whatever is the perspective and how we are defining the problem based on that you have to say this is positive and this recall is important for us now let's take an opposite scenario let me take a now let me take case 2 it's spam detection spam email detection 
so spam email detection so what is a spam email detecting a spam email is what is positive for us okay detecting a spam email is positive for us so this is what is a problem we have to identify spam emails correctly so that's positive for us so we are predicting something what are we predicting here we are predicting prediction predict predicting positive that is predicting as spam email draw the confusion matrix uh, this is actual actually the mail was a spam or not yes positive it was a spam negative it was not a spam. so this is a vertical axis this is a horizontal axis so first what we do first to understand these are positive that we are predicting um, we are saying these emails are spam and these emails are not spam this is what is the model or the algorithm what we have designed is basically telling us now p and p means true okay p and n that means false n and p that means true false and then n and n that means so we again have the same matrix where we say false negative and false positive well this is saying it is a spam as a prediction when it's not a spam it is a spam email is spam email is spam when it is not and here email is not spam when it is when it is so these are the two cases now false positive positive and false negative now think of and again the same question which parameter is important in this scenario so here false positive is super super important in our think of an email comes to our inbox we have a email coming to our inbox and it's a super important email super important email on which you have to take some action but then this email what happens is it's classified as that means this is now classified as a false positive it's told it's a spam then it is actually not a spam super important email so you are missing on these kind of super important emails maybe it is less one or two or five whatever in thousands but that emails are super important and you cannot miss out on those so false positive is very important here okay but when it is actually a spam and then it's missed and it the model doesn't classify it to be a spam it's okay because at the end a human is intervening a human will look at the email and identify it correctly in most cases and say yeah okay this is a spam but at gmail or whichever email we are using it's not classifying this as spam no problem let us put it into a bin delete this email it's not a problem so false negative is not a big problem false positive is a big problem so this should be reduced to the maximum possible extent so that is where false positive becomes super important here. so what is a, a parameter or metric precision or recall which one becomes important precision or recall it's precision right that's nothing but true positive divided by true positive plus false so we have to reduce this false positive and increase our precision scope so this is super important for these kind of classification problems that we are dealing with. That is all from my side on part two of confusion matrix. Hope you have understood and it's clear. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.